There should have been three charter trains at Carlisle today, the 21st of September, 2024, but two have been cancelled. The third should have been the Cumbrian Coastal Express, but with the coastal line closed, it has been renamed and rerouted as the Cumbrian Mountain Express, returning to London via the Settlement Carlisle line. We also have a second weekend of LNER diversions to add both colour and variety to the Citadel scene. Having travelled from London's King's Cross station to Newcastle as a 125 miles per hour electric train, this Azuma has now traversed the 60 scenic but winding miles from Newcastle to Carlisle at a leisurely pace under diesel power. On arrival at the Citadel, the pantograph on the rearmost carriage will be raised and the train will continue its journey to Edinburgh or beyond under the catenary.
front of this one. We apologise for this late running and the inconvenience this may cause you. There are two routes to Euston from here. The fastest trains travel via the Trent Valley, frequently running non-stop from Warrington to London. This train is taking the route via Wolverhampton, Birmingham and Coventry, involving many stops and adding an hour or more to the journey. However, it's an interesting ride and often offers cheaper fares. But it's a long journey if you can't get a drink or a bite to eat. The renamed Cumbrian Mountain Express makes a smoky entrance. The train originated in London. Tangmere has hauled it from Carnforth via Sharp.
This is how we travelled in the steam age, in compartments with a side corridor to give us access to the rest of the train, and with individual reading lights to each seat, lit by gentle filament bulbs, not the harsh fluorescent lighting which seems to be universal today. As Tangmir disappears off to Upperby Depot for watering, servicing and turning, I must decide. Do I really want to film yet another Tangmir departure? How many Azumas can I film without boring you all to tears? Let's head for Appleby. A change of scene and possibly a gossip with old friends. We were enjoying the peace and quiet, expecting nothing until Tangmir, not due for some time yet, when Station Master Michael noticed that the signals had been cleared for the upline. None of us was expecting this today, a definite bonus. Ah, uh, she's on her way.
Going great guns in fine, smoky, bullied style. My return train to Carlisle, having been cancelled, has surprisingly been reinstated, and I'm soon homeward bound. Before I get back to Carlisle, I receive a text from Michael to say that Tangmir has failed near Kirby Stephen, and that he has the following Leeds train stuck in his up platform. Bad news. But it gets worse. The latest I have is that Tangmir threw a piston rod through a cylinder and had to be shuffled off to Kirby Stevens' siding. 47802 ran round from the rear of the train and brought the charter back to Carlisle, but then developed wheel flaps. Les Ross's Class 86 electric had to be brought up to take the stock home via the West Coast Main Line. As I record this at 11.30pm, real-time trains has nothing more up to date than that the charter was 217 minutes late on her return to London Road Junction. A memorable day for all the worst reasons. There's nothing on the steam front at Carlisle until next Saturday, assuming that West Coast Railways will have something capable of working it. But I might manage a day on Lalrati before it winds down for the winter. Thanks for watching and here's to whenever the next time is.